Hi there. Well, we've got a Rob North Triumph now. These were uh, really roosting the roost, ruling the roost back in the late 69s and 70, 71, 72, 73. Uh, they run a Triumph 750 engine, three-cylinder engine, but in a very special frame. They're known as Rob Norths because they were made by a guy called Rob North, made in Birmingham, actually. Uh, transformed the whole bike, made a handle a lot better, a whole lot lighter, and it made it into a world championship winning bike. So it really transformed it very much. Done to this bike. Okay, well, this one's had a quite a lot of modifications from the original bikes, things that weren't available in the day. They've got different con rods now to what we used to have. We use a billet crankshaft, one piece but crankshaft. It also has a high flow oil pump, and that's not high pressure but high flow, it creates more flow going through the engine. Well, this also has an external clutch. Um, the original clutch was an internal clutch and it was very, very heavy, it weighed about 10 pounds. The external clutch saves a lot of weight. It also makes it much more, um, it's better for, for repairing, better for maintenance, better for changing gearbox sprockets. And we want a belt drive on the primary on the primary drive. We don't want chain anymore. Much more reliable, much more stable, smoother. They just handle a lot, lot better. They're, they're a lower, lower height than the standard frame, but they handle. They, they just, they, they're very precise on handling. They go on the corners better. They, they break a lot better. The whole thing is smoother. It's a much better frame for racing than the standard frame. Um, they, they, use a very, they use a very special tube. They use a Reynolds tube, Reynolds 531 and Reynolds T40, which is a very, it's a drawn tube, it's not seen, very, very light, quite thin wall, but incredibly light, but incredibly strong. And all the frames are brazed, they're not welded together, they're brazed. Yes, we've had it on the dyno just recently, as a matter of fact. Um, I'm not revealing the figures, but I can tell you, standard, they used to produce 56 brake horse. This is almost getting towards double of that. Not quite, but it's very much higher up there. Now, you can get them a little bit higher, but then you tend to lose reliability. I personally only parade it these days. I started racing in 1969. I don't race anymore. I parade. But Alex George rides quite a lot. He rode it all last year. He's racing this bike at Goodwood uh, in about a month's time, in fact. Any, special, any other special features on this particular bike? Um, yes, it, no, we know on the central plug, because the original plug used to be to each side of the cylinder head, we want a central plug, which is only a smaller 10 mil plug, but it improves the burn an awful lot better. We've, we, the original bikes used to run animal carburetors, we now use k carbs, which is a smooth bore carb, really increases the flow, and it makes the bike very, very responsive, so in other words, it revs very high, very quickly.